Yo, it's your boy Coinstock here, back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, I'm just a friend trying to educate you. Woo, brothers, how y'all doing today? All right, um, the uh, staple swap is live, as you can probably tell by the title. And you know what else is live? My Twitter account. And you know what you should follow? My Twitter account. <laughs> so go ahead, give that a follow. Um, if you find this video en enjoyable, right? Um, today we're actually going to be talking about like the staple swap being live, some of the mechanics behind it. And uh, then we'll, you know, we'll call it quits. But first, we got to, you know, look at all the stuff that's going on. So first off, MM Finance on CoinGecko, $1.08, 2% in the red. As you can see, the circulating supply, total supply, max supply, didn't really change much. Market cap since I last made the video. Um, let's go ahead, look at the max. You know, it's kind of emotional right now, you know, but <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of painful seeing the all these types of gains right here but then steadily and surely we'll see in this little back end right here but but we still have the MUSD money platform to wait for and uh, the MUSD uh, well the uh, mad meerkat USD is actually uh, live so there's that I mean I, I'd love to see how it would cope with the uh, interest bearing uh, assets for instance but we'll get into that later so all right so now there are 30,302 addresses I mean still kind of stagnant like you know we were seeing all types of growth in the month of uh, March but April you know it's just kind of going up a little bit bit by bit well it definitely went up like right over here but then you know it's slowly making the incline right but now you know We'll have this uh, MM Finance, uh, MM Money. So, well, Mad Meerkat Money. It's all just, <laughs> it's all jumbled up, you know? So, all right, let's go ahead and look at this stable swap here. So, this is the swapping page, by the way. So, there's MUSD, DAI, USDC, USDT. You can make uh, MUSD 3MM liquidity which basically there's like it eliminates that's what it's that's what it's purported to do is eliminate uh impermanent loss so i mean that's pretty good and like uh the juicy gains on the farms on mm finance like 63 percent apr and that's not including like compounding every day or every week or what have you so there's that Right, and like uh, this is gonna be like really low trading fees, as you can see right here. Perform a token swap between different tokens. First, select the stable coin pool that you wish to perform a trade against. Trading fees is at 0.04 percent. So, yeah, if you feel like trading on this stable swap and you want the lowest fees possible, which is really good because with trading fees and slippage, there have been people before where they swap their let's say 10,000 USDC and in, in like a traditional AMM right and then they pull it out with like die for instance that 10,000 goes to 9,800 where the 200 go like people are pissed I get it I get it I ain't mad at them right now let's go ahead and look at 3mm so this is the uh, 3mm LP page so you can add die USDC and USDT to get 3mm LP you can stake Stablecoin 3mm LPs for high APR at MM Finance. I do believe that's at like 20% APR. I'm, I mean, we'll look at that later, but you add, you know, get equal amounts of DAI, USD, Tether, and then you get boom, bam, boom, 3mm. Come on, man. Come on, man. But also, I don't know, the MUSD trying to add stability with MUSD slash uh, 3mm LP. I mean, that's more of the speed. You get more uh, of the uh, MMF token, which the price potentially, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, the price potentially for MMF could appreciate because of all these loans and the, um, the uh, protocol-owned liquidity from all these swapping fees from not only the platform, but also from StableSwap. So there's that. And then you can provide liquidity. I think this is kind of uh, self-explanatory. Well, actually... 
you're also providing liquidity with 3mm i just noticed so there's that right and i mean this is the same thing just with you know let's see how many options okay there's just one option on this page uh mad usd equal amounts of mad usd die stable coin usd coin and tether usd and then you receive musd 3mm dash 2 lp all right but something that the uh, devs pull out pulled out of their sleeves and i was kind of shocked about was you can create a usd meta pool uh well like literally you could create your own usdc yeah your own uh stable coin and uh i see mm die usdc usdt now mm i don't know i don't think it's musd i think they would explicitly like put that there but just like die usdc usdt which would be the base pool for the stable coin and uh if you are a dev right yeah i think it's just those three but if you are a dev and you want to create your own usd well stable coin just uh contact the devs put your name symbol token address blah 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 yada yada and then we'll yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And it, it says create pool there, so it's like the token, and that's the pool, like providing uh, liquidity for it. But yeah, that's kind of just the done deal. So let's go ahead and look at the farms on MM Finance, right? So we see the same old farms that we've seen for a while, and they have, you know, a decent amount of uh, like APR, you know? But and the downside of it is like MMF CRO, for instance. Uh, they constantly uh, deviate from the price that you originally bought, bought at, right? So there's imp permanent loss. But if we go all the way down to like, you know, well, DAI USDC, which is 8%, or MUSD 3MM, which is 62.49%, like you, you wouldn't really experience all that much impermanent loss, and you really wouldn't experience all that much uh, impermanent loss. Like it's negligible with these farms. And yet, MUSD 3MM is 62.49% APR. Mwah! Mwah! It's beautiful. And only 6,643,298 are providing liquidity. Come on now. Come on now. And it's, well, it's got one times, but ooh, the die USDC has 1.25 times multiplier. Wow, weird. But also, you could just do 3MM which is still 23.6% APR, which is not bad. And actually 10,553,267 people, are pro I mean, not people, uh, that's the money in the uh, liquidity pool that are, you know, people are putting liquidity in for. So here we go. And that's kind of that for uh, this page. It's just, you know, new. I just wanted to show you the new farming. And also, you could also add your NFTs in here and you can get a boost for your uh mmf earnings so there's that you know if you, if you got an nft good for you <laughs> all right now let's go ahead and look at this article so mm stable swaps uh swap stables at lowest fees on the entire chronos chain uh the most efficient way of swapping stables and it, uh now live mm stable swap the most efficient way to swap stables all right so with the launch of our mm stable swap our mmf ecosystem is now far more capital efficient allowing traders to swap between stable tokens more efficiently this will bring our trading volume to the next level generating more fees for protocol owned liquidity which is nice that's what we love to see not only do we like to see people lock up their tokens we also like to well lock up their tokens in like you know farming or auto compounding or even you know like uh, these loans that are going to happen after the stable swap is you know staying steady right and uh but like you know it adds protocol owned liquidity like uh mad meerkat finance devs have said they want to make it like a layer one uh token so we're kind of seeing it i can't wait to see it with this uh loan well uh interest bearing uh loans platform i, I can't wait to see what's actually gonna you know how the uh mmf token is gonna play Man, it's like all this Mad Meerkat MM stuff. It's just kind of like jostling my mind. So I'm sorry for, like, you know, like right on the spot. I'm not getting them all correctly, but yeah. So makes our stable swap different from traditional uh, AMMs and DEXs. Lowest trading fees. MM stable swap offers traders far lower trading fees for stablecoin trades than any other DEX. So 0.17 through 0.25% 
per trade on average in trading DEXs versus 0.04% on MM stable swap. You pay five times less fees per trade and that's just fees and there's minimal slippage too so large traders and high volume trading pairs are subject to high slippage on a traditional dex but mm stable swap is able to prevent high slippage on stable coin pairings so and no impermanent loss liquidity providers on mm stable swap supply stable coin pairs that eliminate impermanent loss now that right there um like like i said earlier like it like the uh impermanent loss is just extremely like negligible i wouldn't say 100 percent. i mean i'm not too familiar how a uh, curve five curve five na curve finance <laughs> sorry curve finance works but um it, like the uh slippage is very very negligible and especially it has so many stable coins in it too so i mean extremely negligible like you wouldn't barely would even notice and minimal slippage too is that uh like i said earlier about 10,000 people transferring it on a traditional amm or dex and then uh uh they put 10,000 in and they get 9,800 out now this with minimal slippage maybe we'll see like 10,000 and then it'll be what 9,999 who knows i'm not a financial advisor or anything i'm not the devs or anything you get the picture <laughs> but other than that well, hold on there's more though uh this just shows you how to do all of that i mean you could look up the uh the uh, medium article about this but initial stable coin in musd liquidity was added by our team in a bid to prepare for the next phase of our development the mmf money platform launch coupled with the launch of the burrow token very important this is a uh, where you could receive dividends in the uh native stable coin for chronos chain and the mm ecosystem so yeah here's more so our team is finalizing the mmf money platform where you can deposit interest bearing collateral to get musd these MUSD loans are generally self repaying, so you can keep your MUSD loans for as long as you want. We'll get back to that in a minute. When you supply assets on Tectonic, Mimus, or Annex Finance, you will receive an illiquid receipt token where you could stake it on MMF Money Platform to mint MUSD, which you can use to purchase other assets. That's already a given, right? Now, uh, these MUSD loans are generally self repaying so you can keep your MUSD loans for as long as you want So let's say that your loan pay repays itself in what four or five years You literally could just hold the MUSD Loan or switch it out or what have you. I mean you do you it's it's up to you to pick what you want to do with it Do your own research, right? but You can literally hold it for instance the MUSD and just wait for your uh illiquid receipts to come back out from you know from being repaid and then you you could keep that the uh, enter well not interest the uh tokens that you had locked up and you could keep the musd it's a sweet sweet thing right but other than that i, I guess i got nothing right <laughs> now there's more stuff going on in the chronos chain actually some uh, new developments some new projects that i want to show you guys but that's for a different video. This is the uh, Mad Meerkat finance video, but maybe uh, some other time I'll talk about those other projects too. But other than that, um, I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. So uh, I guess I'll uh, see you guys later.